okay, you can understand from the Word of God that racial distinction is a biblical concept. And that the Bible does teach, the Word of God does teach, that there is racial distinction. It destroys this whole satanic Jesuit one world government thing of, well, there's only one race, the human race. It's not scriptural. It's a Roman Catholic, Jesuitical, satanic, antichrist, one world government terminology. It comes from, it's going to lead to that one world government of the whole world comes together, you're only one human race. Sorry, I got stuck in my eye there. But it is a satanic concept, this thing of, oh, it's one, one human race. No, the Bible teaches racial distinction. I'm going to show you that. Revelation chapter 5 and verse number 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. So you see a distinction there. There's, there's mentioning every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. There's a distinction made between the kindreds. So if we're all just one human race, why, why is there the need to mention every kindred? Because there's still different uh, kindreds. There's still a different distinction of kindreds. Revelation chapter 7 and verse number 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand. So again, you see all the kindreds. Again, if, if we're only one human race, there's no different kindreds. Not, there's no such thing as different kindreds. We're all one human race. Uh, why does it say different kindreds? All, all kindreds. Um, because there are different kindreds, and the scripture they love going to is Galatians 3.26, which is talking about anyone can get saved regardless of kindred. It's not saying there's no more kindred anymore. When it says there's neither Jew nor Greek, it's simply saying that anyone can get saved regardless of their kindred. But it's not saying there's no longer any distinction, because if you actually read the rest of the verse, it says there's neither male nor female. So does that mean there's no more gender either? No, anyone can get saved. God is not a respecter of persons, but it doesn't mean there's not distinction or that God likes separation too. Because Acts 17, 26 says that God set the bounds of their habitation. He separated the kindreds. Deuteronomy 20, uh, 32 verse eight says the same thing. God, he, he uh, separated and divided the peoples. And it's not racism, it's just a fact, it's biblical. And not to mention uh, racial integration is scientifically and it's just unhealthy too. All kinds of health problems come out uh, from, as, or as a result of racial integration and racial mixing. Scientific fact. So don't be deceived by this satanic New World Order Jesuit term overall one human race. It's not biblical and it's not, it's just not morally correct either. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.